right, so now one of the last final steps, at least from an installer's perspective, is, is transferring ownership. So you've gone through the system, all the programming with the system, you've done the zoning, you've done the scheduling, all that, right? Getting the system online. So now you can transfer ownership over to your customer. So I am gonna share, the, uh, share this screen with you now. So after all that's set up, you'll go to the menu bar and you will click on locations. And from the location screen, you will select the menu bar from that location and simply select transfer ownership. Now your client will go through the process of downloading the app and creating their account. They will get an email to activate that account. Once all that is done. They have to have an activated account before you go through this process. Yes, yes. So once that is done, now that you can add, type in the email address of your client. Now, this is, I think, a very important feature from an installer's perspective, again, is selecting make me a user of this location, right? So you want to be able to have access to your customer's account as an installer. So yep. helpful for support, helpful for service, all of that, right? You always have access. If they call you, you can adjust the schedule remotely from the comfort of your home. And again, where it says location alias on the screen, you can rename that. So even if the location is called home for them, mm -hmm. you can rename it the Smith's house mm -hmm. or whatever for you. And that way the name on your phone is different than the name on their phone, which sometimes is helpful if, if they just want to call it home or whatever on their end. Yeah. So one thing too, I think to note is in a question we get asked a lot is what's the difference between transferring ownership and just sharing a location? Correct. So transferring ownership actually makes the homeowner the, the owner. So just as we saw when we were sharing location, I was a user of, of, of Rob's owned account. I couldn't see who else, who the other users were or anything like that, where the owner could see all of that. And I couldn't delete you know, other people or anything like that where the owner can't. So really, because it's ultimately their system that they are purchasing, you want them to be the mm -hmm. owner and that way they have full access mm -hmm. and can control who has access to their account. Yep. Like that. Now, is there a difference from our server perspective to where we can look up the system? Yeah, so mm -hmm. we, we also will show on our end who the owner is and things like that. And there are some notifications and stuff that sometimes the owner gets that every other share user does not get. So those priority structures do matter. If you're a homeowner, transfer ownership is also the place where if you sell your house or move or anything like that, and this system is staying with the house, this same situation would be to where you would transfer that ownership to a new to a new user and then and then they would have access to the system. Yep, exactly. Thanks for watching.